Hello everybody. I am going to do a review on the Dr. Jar Shake and Shot mask. I have the Instant Brightening Boost mask. Um, I saw these at Sephora and had to grab them. I've had it for like two weeks now, but due to my busy schedule, I haven't been able to try one. So I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna review it. And so the bottle is crazy. It's got the little baby face with a straw coming out of its mouth. Um, cool packaging. Some people are freaked out by the baby. I kind of like it, but I'm a little messed up anyway. So, um, so it's a rubber mask and everything that you need is in here. Directions are on it. It does tell you not to drink it. And when I showed my husband this, he's like, is it a drink? Do you drink that? So it's important that you don't drink it and people are aware it is a face mask. So yeah, um, it, the brightening boost mask is going to be for evening out skin tone, um, dealing with correcting dark spots and um, also uneven skin tones. So I'm gonna pull my hair back and let's get started. Can't really have your hair in your face. And sorry, I look like this. Um, so to start, I um, cleanse my face just with a everyday cleanser. And um, so, and then I used a toner and that's just all I did to kind of prep my face for this. Um, everything that you absolutely need, all the packages in here, take the lovely face off of the baby. And then we've got our spatula. And then we have our step one. And then we've got our step two. So you just pour all this in the cup and shake it up and apply it. Um, it does say that you want to, once you start applying it to your face, you want to apply it in two to three minutes. So <laughs> that's really fast, especially for a video. So sorry if it is less than glorious. So first off, I'm gonna already kind of bash on this a little bit. Um, the package is really not conducive to pouring this into the cup. Like, I feel like if you're gonna have this type of product, you probably should maybe make it like in something where a little slit comes off and then you squeeze it in, because now I'm like having to pull all the product to one side so that I can actually like squeeze it into the cup. It's this big thing and it's kind of like gel coming out, which I'm sure this is gonna be great, but it's kind of making it more of a pain to use. Um, so you can find these at Sephora and um, they're $12 and there's four different kinds. Um, there's a firming, which I got and like I have to work tomorrow, so I don't really care if my face looks firm at work or not, but. Um, and then there is one for soothing, which I actually have grabbed, didn't mean to. And um, yeah, it, my skin is not sensitive at all. Okay, so this is pure liquid coming out in step two. And it pours out a lot easier than step one. So then you put your little baby face on, put your hand over the mouth, and it says shake it up really, really good. And sorry, I'm in my PJs too, because I don't really care <laughs> what I look like. Um, okay, so yeah, it is kind of a creamy mask. So I'm gonna start applying it on my face with this lovely spatula, getting it off the lid first, getting all that product out of there, because there is actually quite a bit that is stuck in the mask, which the little baby face is all fun and unique and different, but not super, like efficient for getting all that product out. So, um, as I used to actually like apply these type of masks to clients all the time. I used to be an esthetician and I we use Pavonia, so it was a really nice product line. My hair, I pulled it back, but apparently not good enough. So, again, the packaging is cute and unique and different and grabs your eye for sure. Definitely, definitely not um, really effective or efficient for applying because all the product, there's really like once you mix it, 
not that much product in there and it all settles at the bottom and the spatula is not really like great at going in and getting it all I don't feel like but what do I know so two to three minutes again to get this all applied so I'm just kind of slopping it on and then I'll smooth it out there is a lot of product in here so you can get a good thick mask on which is good a lot of times people will try to do product conservation which is also nice to make a product stretch but then you're not getting like your full effect of the mask or treatment that you're doing so it actually doesn't look like a whole lot of product for the container but you actually do get quite a bit and it's making a nice trying to go down on my chin a little bit but okay and it says you want this to set for like 15 to 20 minutes so I've got it all applied and so yeah we'll let it set for about 15 to 20 minutes I'll probably smooth it out just a little bit more but I'll try to get back in with you guys so I'm about halfway into the mask setting and it's definitely hardening. Um, obviously didn't get it in some areas. So I need to work on my application. But um, as I was sitting there, I noticed some clumps dropping. So definitely need to work on spreading it in and everything. But so far so good. I didn't connect it over here so it won't peel off into a complete good mask. There's some product there, but not enough of the mask. So application is what I need to work on. Check with you when I'm taking it off. Okay, so I've had the mask on about 20 minutes now, which said 15 to 20 minutes. I always go the long side of things. Sometimes I'll go over, but um, it says to start at the edges and to just start peeling it off. I don't think mine will come off in one piece because my application was awful. Some hair stuck in it. Um, so while it's setting, it gets to feeling like really cool. This is a picture to my family. And my sister said she thought she would hate this type of mask. It peels off really easy. For the most part, as long as your application probably is better than mine. Um, but it um, already, like my skin feels like what I'm touching after. It feels nice and smooth and soft. So this is kind of what I was worried about, getting it in my hair. Um, just kind of trying to pick it out versus pull it out, because that would be painful. So, um, I think I like the results of it. I just need to, this is to kind of get kind of in my hairline, that excess out. wipe off where the edges were um, but it does have vitamin C a lot of vitamins and everything kind of help with those dark dry areas okay so I said that my skin wasn't very sensitive but like <laughs> where I'm rubbing it's like really really red I don't know if you can see that or not I really don't have sensitive skin um, so yeah, my application would have been like a little smoother. I think I really would have liked the peel up process a lot more, more harder with my other. But um, yeah, I feel like I feel like my skin feels a little bit more supple and feels hydrated. Um, it said to do your um, regimen that you usually do after the application and or after you peel it off. So I'll apply a moisturizer. I'm going to use Pharmacy that I got from Sephora and removes out of that. So I need to figure out what I'm doing after that. I like to switch it up. But I'll really kind of have an idea of what I think about it in the morning. But right now, I mean, my skin feels awesome. So a little pile of mask. So yeah, the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot Mask 
don't really like, I mean the packaging looks cool, but as far as like mixing and application goes, wasn't a huge fan just because of how quick you do have to apply it. Again, application you have to apply it in two to three minutes once it's mixed. Um, kind of getting that number one in the cup, not the easiest, um, but I will say the results are worth it. So, and it might not be as stressful when you're not doing it on video. Um, so yeah, I would give this a thumbs up and again, $12 at Sephora, $12 mask, not too shabby and kind of fun, different, different masks to use. So yep. Yeah.